I'm in Sunderland today. I've never been to Sunderland. I'm quite excited. Now, if I'm honest, I'm not actually sure how this is going to work out. It's a uh, first thing in the morning shoot, and we're at Roker Lighthouse in Sunderland. Like I said, never been to Sunderland before, but it's a uh, it's a nice, easy journey up from where I live in Yorkshire, and it looks absolutely fantastic. One slight issue. <sighs> Can't believe it, they're actually doing loads and loads of repairs and loads of work actually on the lighthouse itself. Uh, and there's lots of, um, I don't know, cranes and whatever, diggers. But um, shouldn't be a problem to uh, take out. We're just going to have a look and see what the, uh, the light is like. My initial scout round tells me that this is an amazing find, what an amazing place this is. I try to work it when, because uh, Wednesday is my vlogging day, so I try to work it when I can really arrive here on a Wednesday morning, but also when the weather's right and when the tide is in. So I've been waiting probably a couple of months to kind of for all that to fall in place. It's actually fallen in place today, which is brilliant. The only slight issue I've got is I'll turn the camera around and let you guys have a look. Um, sunrise, ah, there's lots and lots of cloud, lots of cloud. Now, obviously when I checked the weather report, it said sunshine and cloud, but of course it doesn't actually tell you how much cloud there is compared to how much sunshine there's likely to be. So, uh, in landscape photography, that's what it is. You just turn up, see what it's like. Some days you get lucky, some days you don't. Anyway, I don't want to be all doomy gloomy on this. I'll take a few pictures. If the sunrise just doesn't happen, then I'll walk around and explore the place, enjoy the morning, and take a few more pictures. But uh, I'm not sure if this sunrise is really, really going to work for me. There's a few little gaps in the cloud. In the background, I could see kind of an orange glow just coming in. We're literally um, 10 minutes away from sunrise, so we've got a bit of time yet. But if that sun or if the cloud is likely to break in the next 10 minutes, I don't think so. While I'm waiting for the sun to rise, I've got my 10 stop filter on and I'm going to take a few kind of look, well, say long exposure shots. I've actually set my camera so it's a 30 second exposure. The only reason why I do that is because 30 seconds is long enough obviously to smooth out that sea. But 30 seconds, it just means I don't have to mess around with my timer, that's all. That last shot I took there, you could just start to see that yellow glow appearing in the gaps in the clouds. And there is quite literally just five minutes left. Ah. It doesn't look too promising, I've got to tell you, which is quite disappointing, but uh, hey ho, that's landscape photography for you. So this morning's turned out to be a right challenge, but um, I suppose it's make or break time really when it comes to uh, challenges like this. You can just moan about it and walk away and get no shots, or you can just persevere, look around for different compositions, different ideas, think outside the box. Pretty much that's what you have to do in times like this. I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about. Um, going along the pier towards the end where the lighthouse is, there's loads of workmen, loads of workmen's gear there, all their equipment's there. Right at the end where the pier is as well, there's a great big digger actually hanging over the edge there. So, uh, the sun rose this morning, um, but it's, of course it's very cloud, very cloudy, which is a real pain in the backside if I'm perfectly honest with you. There was a little gap in the cloud, just probably at the height, if not slightly higher than the lighthouse. And when the sun got to there, of course, it was just blazing, it was just too bright. But now the sun's actually risen above it, it's casting light down behind 
the actual lighthouse itself so therefore it's rendering itself as an absolutely fantastic silhouette so that's what I'm working on at this present moment in time so I'm doing different compositions portrait landscape I'm also going outside of the comfort zone as well wherefore I'm putting the horizon right down below the lower third to show the dramatic sky because there is an absolutely fantastic sky so at this present moment in time this is turning out to be just a dream shot it really really is another composition I'm working on at this present moment in time as well I'm taking a little bit of the, the beach a little bit of the sea a silhouette of the lighthouse then there's a bright part of the sea and a really dark area in the sky so it's almost like splitting the picture in four but again it's it just works sometimes things like that just work This is what I mean when we talk about looking outside the box and going outside your comfort zone. I'm currently exploring and I'm just walking through a car park looking back once again at the main focal point which is the lighthouse and there's handrails and barriers and the symmetry between that as foreground interest and the background is absolutely fantastic. It's quite industrial looking but I've got a low angle foreground interest is the barriers onto the sea onto the lighthouse onto that amazing sky in the background like I say it's quite industrial but it just looks absolutely fantastic would we'll probably make an awesome black and white and as I'm talking to you now there's a great big ship that's heading out so I might even include that in the shot as well although at the moment the lighthouse is still because of the light in the background is still very silhouetted but I absolutely love it. In actual fact, take a look at this and you'll see what I mean. Moving around a bit further to try and capture another angle. Just while I'm wandering, I want to give a shout out to another photography channel. It's a very, very good photography channel. It's called On Patrol Photography. If you've never heard of it, go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's called On Patrol Photography. He's an Aussie guy, very likable guy, and his work is absolutely fantastic. So do me a favor, nip across to his channel, have a look if you like what you see. Uh, Bang a thumb up on there. Give him a sub if you like as well, it's entirely up to you. But uh, just mention where he got a shout out from if you don't mind and uh, send him a bit of love from our channel. So on a shoot like that, there's two questions you've got to ask yourself. First question. Under the circumstances, how well do you think you did? In other words, we all like it easy. If the sky was fantastic, beautiful sunrise, um, if there was no kind of diggers and so on and so forth, no commercial work going on, then how would it have looked? 
Uh, how would it have been? It'd have been dead simple, wouldn't it? But uh, it's not always like that. So the question you ask yourself when you go back from a shoot is, did I adapt? Did I change my way of thinking? Did I look outside the box? And did I make the best of what I got? <sighs> beautiful cup of coffee, beautiful. Question number two, was it worth it? If I'm honest, 95% of the time you're gonna say yes, it's worth it. Even if you don't get the shots, surely just getting out of the pit, getting out of the house, enjoying the fresh air, um, going somewhere new, uh, experiencing different things, being challenged by different lighting, different conditions, going to places you've never seen before, never been before, then surely all of that, even if you don't come away with any decent shots, it's gotta be worth it. So I'm guessing 95% of, certainly for myself, and I'm sure you guys out there as well, are gonna say, was it worth it, question number two? Damn right it was worth it, damn right. And if I'm honest, I think even under challenging conditions today, I think I've ended up with some pretty, pretty decent pictures. Some pretty decent pictures. 20 minutes down the coast, there's a small, I think it's a fishing village, I'm not quite sure, but quite literally 20 minutes uh, further south down the coast, I've come to a small village called Seaham. Just looking around Seaham now, and it's uh, pretty similar to where we've been, if I'm perfectly honest. It's got a lovely lighthouse, a fantastic lighthouse. Probably would have been better coming here this morning. Having said that, though, this gets... Oh, I don't, it's really quite frustrating because it appears to be privately owned. just find it really weird how you can privately own something like a pier. I mean, look at this now. This is absolutely unbelievable. Let's put my camera around have a look at this. This is what you're faced with, all these gates here, all of these gates, and through there you can see a fantastic pier leading all the way down until you get to a lighthouse at the end there. So it's really frustrating but I can't get access to it, so I'll probably do what I'm doing now and I stick my camera lens right through the actual fence itself and grab a shot. Better be quick though because the sea's going out, but isn't it quite frustrating? Look at that. Isn't that weird? This looked like a very good shot until I pretty much set up. But the time has taken me a couple of minutes to get set up. The sun's broke through the clouds, casting an awful glare on the sea. But in case it does work out, and I'm hoping it will do, let me just very quickly spin this camera around and show you what I'm looking at. Something like that is the shot that I've composed for and I've taken. Now what we've got here is as much as it's all too busy for me, but what we've got is nice leading lines with a bit of interest on the right hand side and also this kind of green moss all along the top there. The fingers crossed I'll be able to pull out in Photoshop. The sky is okay, the light is just okay, but it's kind of 11 o'clock in the morning now so obviously the light's not going to be fantastic. Then of course we've got the pier on my left hand side with that lighthouse again which forms part of the or the main focal point. But overall I quite like it, it's quite nice, so hopefully it's come out, but unfortunately, as you can see here, the sun is just casting this horrible light, this horrible glare on the sea. That's it guys, thoroughly enjoyed that today. 
Um, clearly it's been a sea stroke lighthouse themed photo shoot but uh, really it's just about making the most of your time at a said location it's about making the best use of the light that's available and the conditions that you're faced with uh, I think to be fair I've done a fairly good job of that today but uh, I'm sure you guys will tell me otherwise so one last thing then if you like what you see please don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, hit that subscribe button if you've not already subscribed to my channel and hit that little bell button as well I know we all see it, but it's really important for us uh, Obviously, we're all trying to build our YouTube channels and if you've not been across to on patrol photography Then please do so and if you like what you see there then send him our love and uh, a bit of love from our channel to his That's it. Thank you very much indeed for uh, taking time out to watch this video it means a lot to me i'll leave the link in the description below by the way till next time see ya